Hey guys, it's Ben with Myers Woodshop. Today we're going to talk about the table I use for my CNC. Now, you've watched this video over here back when I made the cheap table for under 100 bucks, and it has stood the test of time, and it is, I mean, really rock solid. 2x4 construction, and it's been great. But now I have the Onefinity CNC, and the Shea Poco isn't here anymore. I'm going to be changing some things up and I'm going to be removing all of this mess of everything and I'm going to switch over to a different table. So on this side of the shop, I have my armor tool bench. It's been kind of a catch-all for now because I'm so limited on my space in the tiny shop. And I, I like this construction so much, but it's too small. And I was thinking, what can I do? I like the metal base. I can store stuff underneath. I would really like the ability to roll it around. It's solid. I thought, what can I do? So I was checking out the Armor Tool website, seeing do they have something bigger? And unfortunately they don't. It's really a, you know, a mobile woodworking bench. But I did find somebody on Instagram who got two of the benches and then reconfigured it to make one really big one. So I'm gonna reconfigure two and make one big one and then I'll have one little one for mobile use in the shop. So first thing I need to do is take all this stuff off, take it all apart, get out the other one, Take that all apart and then mesh the two together. So here's me doing that. All right, so I added this bottom shelf. It's not really a good idea. The wheels never really work. So don't do that if you get one of these. But we're going to get rid of the top. We're not going to use the other top either because it has a bunch of holes in this. And when we use it for the Onefinity, I don't want all the dust and stuff going through. So we're just going to add a different piece of wood to connect them all together. And we're going to get rid of this piece of wood, that piece of wood, this top. We're really only going to use the frame and the wheels for this one. So let's get to it. All right, we got the whole base off. The screws that are going into the frame, into the wood, half of those just stripped out and, uh, or quarter of them, the heads just popped right off. So I basically, two of them I had to rip out with the crowbar. So this piece I'm not gonna use anymore. We're gonna use it on the smaller table that all the little pieces produce that we're not using for the big Onefinity table. So we're just gonna get rid of this for now. We're gonna move this out of the way. All right, and this package is all the other legs for the second table. The second table is exactly the same as the first one. There are no differences. So you got the bag of screws. We have the screws to hold it to the table. We have the short rails, which we won't be using in this assembly. We have some more feet which we won't use. And this is the only piece we really truly needed for this is the longer rails. And we'll use those to make the bigger CNC. All right, so now I have my long rails. So we have the four that are going to go on top. <clears throat> like so. And this is going to be pretty much what our table looks like. So it's going to be about that big. So for now, we're just going to attach some of the legs. So here's how I assemble the big one. At this point, we have the frame together, the legs kind of on. I haven't tightened any of the bolts other than hand tight at this point, so I can shift anything if anything's out of square. I'm reusing the legs and they're already together. So uh, these little leg parts, I know I want it as short as I can go. I'm a short dude, so I need them short. If you're tall, make them taller. I know that I want to put a shelf underneath the bottom again, 
And last time it was thin enough to where I can slide a piece of wood in at an angle and then it would flatten down. This is so big that in this case, I'm gonna cut a piece of wood exactly this uh, width so it'll fit inside the legs, put the piece of wood down first, put the shelf in underneath, and when I flip it over, that piece of wood will fall down onto the bottom shelf and it'll be on top. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna cut that piece of wood for the bottom shelf and then we'll install the braces in the middle for that shelf and then we'll put the feet on and then we'll attach it to our tabletop. All right, so I got the shelf cut to size and it's gonna sit right in there like that. And now we can put these braces right here and be finished with the bottom shelf. All right, so the table is made, the base is uh, all finished. Now I just need to attach a top. I'm not reusing the armor tool, the two tops. I could, but in this case I'm not, because I don't want the holes all to be in there. And when I'm cutting all the dust fall, I want it to stay up top. So I got another piece of three quarter inch plywood I'm gonna attach to the top, and that will be the table. It will be complete. And then I'll put the one finity on top. Okay, here's the plywood on top. I am gonna have a little bit of overhang because I want this 48. So you have about an inch and a half overhang around the table. You can even go bigger than that if you maybe get a thicker piece of material or double it up. But I think a three quarter inch piece of material is gonna be just fine. So once I screw this top to the base, we'll be done with this. And then we'll move the one infinity over here and uh, encapsulate it with an enclosure. We'll figure out if I can make one work. 